poles, doggies, sausages and leaflets. Yeah, this wasn't your average Saturday. Yeah, but yes. After months of debate and anticipation, Australia got the chance to answer a single question. Should we change the constitution to recognise the first peoples of Australia by establishing an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice? And the results? Calling that we're actually calling the national vote as being no. Yep, it was a no. From the majority of Australians and all the states. It's clear, obviously, that uh, the referendum has not been successful and I think that's good for our country. The truth is that no referendum has succeeded without bipartisan support in this country. None. The Prime Minister pointed out that winning referendums is hard. In fact, only eight out of the 45 we've had have been successful. But for the people who've worked hard to try and bring about a voice to Parliament, it was devastating. I cry for my people. And I cry for my community. And I cry for the future generations that have to live with this. I think the whole nation should be grieving the lost opportunity here. But the No campaigners said it was the right result. I want to thank the Australian people for delivering this result. We hear you loud and clear. Thank you. This is about the heart and soul of this nation and, and how we're going to be moving forward. There were a lot of different reasons that people gave for voting No. Some people didn't like the idea of a constitution dividing Australians based on their race. This is so divisive. It is so us and them. Others said it wasn't the best way to help Indigenous Australians. Prove it. How is this voice going to do all this stuff? They're forgetting about the grassroots people in the middle that are not being heard. Or that there just wasn't enough detail. If you don't know, vote no! We don't know what yes is. We still don't know what yes means. So what happens next? Well, it's still possible for the government to make laws to set up a voice to parliament without putting it into the constitution, which is something a couple of states have already done. We have legislated for a First Nations voice to our South Australian parliament. We've had a voice here in Victoria since 2019. We've had a democratically elected group who are providing advice directly to the government and it works. There's also been talks from the opposition about the possibility of holding another referendum to recognise Indigenous people in the Constitution without the voice. So you'd hold another I, I, referendum? I believe very strongly, yeah, yes, I believe very strongly that uh, it is the right thing to do. We don't have a lot of the details of what will come next, but some hope this outcome will be a chance for a reset to find new ways to work towards reconciliation. It's now up to all of us to come together and find a different way to the same reconciled destination. I will use this and I hope that everyone else out there will use this as motivation to do right by those people. You know, I do feel a bit deflated, but I think as youth, um, especially, you know, a youth coming from Alice Springs, I think, I think we will rise and I feel like a change will come.